Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. You know my name is Brad, and you're watching Firewood at the Furnace, and we've got a lot to get done today. It is a beautiful, cool morning here in Maryland. The last couple days have been uh, very pleasant. You know, high 70s, low 80s, and uh, really nice, cool mornings. So this is one of those mornings. It's nice and cool. I'm going to get started early because this is a cord and a half of oak that's got to be delivered and stacked. We've got to come back and load another cord and a half in the trailer, take it to the same customer and stack it again for a total of three cords. And then we've got another one cord delivery to do after that. So a lot of work to get done today. Stick around. We'll get to it. So I preloaded the trailer last night uh, because I'm starting early this morning and I got a lot to do today. So yesterday evening I went over to the yard and I preloaded the trailer and parked it at the house last night uh, just so I was ready to go this morning. But uh, you know, kind of, I've got a lot of deliveries scheduled for the next couple weeks and I've kind of told you before that I was scheduling my deliveries starting in September uh, for bulk firewood. And some of you question as to why I wait. Why don't I just deliver when the customer orders? Um, and I, I do do that sometimes if they need it for outdoor firewood for their fire pit. Uh, some people order bulk firewood when uh, they're using it for a combination of both. They'll use it for the outside burning and they'll also use it for heating wood or for their fireplace inside. So those type of orders I'll deliver right away. But I know this customer is, is only using this delivery for winter heating wood uh, so he was not in a hurry for it which is how most of the customers feel uh, as long as they have it before they need it and I will certainly make sure that they have that their wood before they need it uh, but one of the reasons why I wait till September is because I like I just talked to you about in the intro there cooler weather um, loading trailer full of wood by hand which is what I'm currently doing. I'm, I'm experimenting with some ways to, to get the skid loader involved to load my wood. Um, but for right now, I'm still tossing it all in by hand. And this order in particular, three, three cords today, I'll be stacking at the customer's uh, residence. So I would not want to do that in 100 degree weather in the middle of August. So September, October, uh, before they need their wood, uh, but still in plenty of time and a little bit cooler weather. Uh, that's why I do that. So kind of wanted to answer that question a little bit for you all that are wondering. But here coming up in the next two weeks, I think I've got eight or nine deliveries scheduled. So it's gonna get busy and the wood yard's gonna get empty. So I'll turn you back on here when we arrive at the customer's house, I'll get you set up, show you what we got going on and where we're gonna be stacking. All right, so we're getting backed in here now. The uh, homeowner showed me where he wants to stack it. I can back the trailer right up to the edge of the garage. He's gonna stack it alongside the garage there. It's gonna be about five or seven steps to carry it from the trailer to where we're stacking it. Uh, but it's kind of tight quarters, so I'm not sure I'm gonna get much footage of the actual unloading this time. Uh, but on the next load, I'll make sure that I set you up somewhere where you can see what's going on. All right, this is where we backed in here, right up against uh, between the house and the fence is where we stacked it. That first trailer load is empty. The homeowner gave me a little bit of a hand unloading this first load, but I'm thinking roughly we got a 24 or 25 foot long stretch here. And this is the first load. And there's another load just like it still to come. A lot of really good looking barkless oak. So we'll go get loaded up again and come back and do it all over again. All right, so we're back at the yard and uh, <clears throat> when he originally called, when this customer originally called earlier this year, he said he wanted uh, three quarters of oak. Uh, like I said, it was kind of tight quarters there where we were unloading uh, and he was helping me there in the beginning, but uh, we were talking about firewood, we were talking about politics, we were talking about a lot of stuff. And the topic of firewood, you know, was the, pre was the most prevalent conversation. And we were talking about how, uh, you know, he got a load of exclusively oak, which I normally sell, you know, a mixed load of hardwood. And he said, well, I didn't remember telling you I wanted all oak, but this is fine. He said, the next load, when you come back, 
you can bring me a mix of whatever you like. So we were talking about the differences in firewood and you know how oak burns hot but has less of a flame and how some of the other hardwood hardwoods have good BTU value but you know a little brighter flame a little more pleasant to sit around. So he he learned a lot he didn't understand a, a lot of that and like most people I find think oak is the only firewood and there's a lot of other good choices for firewood maple's really good locust is excellent uh, locust actually I think burns a little hotter than oak uh, but it takes a long time to dry as well but your cherry your ash your your walnut uh, it's all good firewood. Um, so I explained a lot of that to him and he told me to bring bring him a mix on this next load. So I'm going to bring him some oak, I'm going to bring him some ash, and I'm going to bring him some maple, and maybe throw in a little bit of cherry as well. So I'm going to put you on time lapse and start chucking wood. <laughs> So that's a third of a quart of maple loaded up and we're going to back down to the oak here. I got a face cord left to load plus what's left of the other half. You'll see that pile when we get down here. door swung open must not have had the pin in it to watch it backing up here That's about good right there. So, I don't know if you could see it in the camera when we backed in, but this is the half of a face cord that was left from the first load. And then I'll put on another full face cord That'll give us four and a half face cord, which is equal to a full cord and a half. So let's get this loaded and get back on the road. big old cord and a half firewood really nice looking firewood in the dump trailer and we're heading back down the road
here's the end product. I'm going to sneak you in here. Three full rows, just about 24 to 25 foot long. And we're just short here at the end, but we're stacking it about six foot high. And there's three rows deep there. So he's in really good shape for this winter. And uh, this is actually a new customer this year that was referred to me from one of my customers last year. So there you go. Back on the road we go. All right, so my back's about had it. <laughs> That's stacking three cords of wood, plus having to load the trailer by hand. That's a lot of work. It, the temperature got up to about, it says 84 degrees right now. So it's a little warmer than it, well, it's a lot warmer now than it was this morning when we started. But anyway, we're gonna go back and load this last order for the day. It's one cord of mixed hardwood. We're gonna get that loaded up. I'm hoping to get that loaded up. And then I'm gonna park the truck for a little bit because my baby girl Taylor has got a volleyball game at the high school this afternoon. So I'm gonna go watch her play volleyball. And as soon as that's done, we're gonna come make this last delivery for the day. So I'll set you up when we get back to the yard, put you on time lapse again. And you can see me chucking the wood back in the trailer as long as my back holds up. And then we'll get this last order dumped today. All right, so I just loaded up that face cord of maple up front. Now I'm gonna put two face cords of oak in here to equal the full cord. I got about 10 minutes before I gotta run home and get a shower to make it to this game on time. So here we go. Tell me your ideas about how I can use the skid loader to make this loading easier. You know, I, I can't just lift up the skid with the forks because I got pretty much two skids wide here on an eight foot section. So if I lift up one skid, the whole thing's gonna collapse. So I can't do it that way. I thought about pulling the bucket up and just knocking some into the bucket I'm not sure how efficient that's going to be either because that's going to be a lot of getting in and out of the skid loader. And it's going to take quite a few buckets to load up one face cord. Some of you may say start using IBC totes. Well, that's an option, but I don't have that many IBC totes. It would take a whole lot of those. I got basically 40 cord of wood here in the yard. And if, a, if an IBC tote holds a third of a cord, which it really doesn't, you got to pile it up pretty high. But um, if it did, I would need 40 times 3, so that's 120 totes I would need. And I don't have anywhere near that many. So that option's kind of out. So this is the only thing I know how to do at the, at the present time. So if you got any ideas, drop them in the comments below. I'm gonna speed you up and get the rest of this loaded. One cord of mostly oak 
two thirds oak, one third maple. So I had 10 minutes to get it done. It took me 11. So I missed my mark. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here right now, go get a shower, watch Taylor's volleyball game. As soon as that's done, I'll come back and we'll deliver this load right now. So we are back from the volleyball game. As you can see, I've changed my clothes. I had a nice shower before I went over there because that definitely was not in any shape to show up to my daughter's volleyball game, uh, filthy and sweaty. So the shower felt good and I picked up a, a helper along the way. He wasn't able to help me earlier today because obviously he was in school, but now that he's out of school, he's gonna ride along with me on this delivery. So we've got the cord loaded up. We're gonna jump in the truck and let's go dump it. What do you say, buddy? Let's do it. We are all done for the day. Uh, that was quite, an, quite a packed day of firewood deliveries, sales, and stacking. Uh, so basically, I stacked three full cord of wood. I loaded two and a half cord of wood this, today, but I loaded another cord and a half yesterday evening. So combined in 24 hours, I have loaded four cord of wood plus stacked three cord of wood. So. I'm feeling it. But anyway, you can see the empty bins there behind us. Uh, we've definitely got work to do to start refilling them for next year. Brady will be over here this winter stacking wood in them bins. What do you think? Hopefully. Yep. Get him over here. It won't be long before I might get him started running the splitter. He's a couple years away from running a chainsaw. Uh, and if his mother has anything to do with it, it'll be quite a few years <laughs> before he runs a chainsaw. But I think we can get him on the splitter here soon. The weather's going to cool off. It'll be a lot more pleasant to work over here, so we'll get these racks filled up. But anyway, that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Deliveries are coming in. You're going to start seeing some videos about deliveries now. Uh, so check out some of the videos here on the side if you haven't seen those before. Like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel. We certainly appreciate it. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next time.